Hey everybody, I'm Strongbow1, and wow, it has been a long time. This is part 18 of Let's Play Mass Effect 2. Now, right off the bat, you're going to see a couple of changes here. First of all, it's pretty obvious, the video looks different. And why? It's because uh, I've been doing some rendering settings, messing around with Vegas, and... Uh, I've basically been just trying to make it so it's not HD on YouTube, but it still looks just about as good as I had it. Uh... I've been getting some... The reason I took off is because I've, I've been trying to get some advice. I went to the Let's Play forums. Uh, very good guys. If you need help with your Let's Play, I strongly recommend you check them out. But yeah, the uh, the Let's Play forum guys, they helped me a whole lot. They gave me a lot of advice, and I've been just trying to implement that, and here I am. So yeah, the video's going to look different. The second thing is, is that, not really noticeable right off the bat, but I am doing the commentary after I made the like gameplay rather than as I'm doing it this is for two reasons well one but to combine in the two number one reason is that if I'm playing separately uh, I focus more on the game I get better game after the videos talking after the videos well I can't even talk after I do it <laughs> but anyways and if I wait until after I do the gameplay to actually do the commentary then I focus more on what I'm saying and actually get better commentary as a result. But I'm gonna talk to her, so I'll be back. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes. I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is... a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm gonna talk to the elusive man. And he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. I'll set a course for Pragya. I owe you, Shepard. Okay. Uh, still getting used to not talking as I'm playing. Had a little trouble unmuting my mic. But yes, uh... I was just gonna say, 
I didn't remember what I was doing, actually. It's been a really long time since I looked at this, but uh, we are going around talking to people and gathering loyalty missions. And we're going to talk to Grunt. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture, I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint, the battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head, and a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. You better have a good reason for ruining my lunch. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. Don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just one Turian, and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. But I'm starting to feel what they did. To see why I should care. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. Ha ha ha, I love murder. Yeah, I know. Uplifting, isn't it? Yeah, I don't, re I don't remember what I'm actually trying to do here. It's been a while. Wait, I'm going to talk to Garrus. Who will, with my powers of clairvoyance, will be in the middle of some calibrations. Just watch. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some... Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you... Who would have guessed? Only everyone. But yes, apparently I was just making the rounds here talking to everyone else. So, you get to, we get to skip another loading screen. Yay! Hopefully now something happens. No, no, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute? Not at the moment. Think I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Okay, thank God for that. He didn't have to t no, stop staring at the terminal. I trust you. Future episodes would not be like this. Uh, this was made with live commentary, but I deleted the track and I'm doing this right now. So all the pausing, running around won't happen. It'll just be straight gameplay with hopefully my rambling ons over top of it. Yes. Come on, no. Uh, uh. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Come on, mission. Yes! Okay. Now, this is another part that's going to actually be cut out. You see, when I was doing live commentary, uh, I would run I would fly around in circles just wondering what the hell I was actually doing. And... Yeah, um, I remember that. So, we're going to do a mission after I refuel. 
You know, it's kind of fun not knowing what's going to happen next. Oh, yes, we're going to do Zaid's loyalty mission, or we're going to start it. I, I remember this. This was just... All I can say is that I wish my Paragon points were high enough. I really do. Okay, we're a force to use Zaid. And I'm going to take with me... Garrus. Nothing to, nothing to do here. Ooh, lots of points. Let's see. Usually at the usually with uh, characters I'm never going to use, I just kind of level them up equally. So you, as you can see here, I'm gonna put three points to do disruptor. No, I'm not. Hey, guns. It's about time. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Push your head. I am trying my very hardest to shoot that poor little woodland animal and I think I actually do get it <laughs> you know after this mission ends you will sympathize with Vito I'm not lying Zaid's an asshole firefight Okay, how does combat work again? Right, hold the wheel. Select a power. Um, what power do I want to use here? I got two. I brought two guys with with concussive shot. Wonderful. Pull, always a nice choice. There are a lot of firefights in this game, and I am running out of things to say and quickly. I'm no I am glad I put that point in pull. I mean not pull, throw. Pull and throw. Awesome combination. It's like grabbing someone by the shirt, pulling them near you, only to punch them in the face and send them flying. Cause you know, I can do that. Cause I'm a strong bro. I was gonna make a goddamn Batman joke, but I decided that I'm a classier person than that. After I got, wow, Shepard's taking those rockets like a champ. Reinforcements incoming. We got your backs. More. You know, space jungle, space jungle is really a location underrepresented in video games. I'm glad Mass Effect takes a takes a chance and uh, space jungles it up. Yes, watch as my adept, my magic shepherd, shoots people with his gun. My mini black hole. Money. Whoa. That was cool. I just kinda walked into it and disappeared. It's like I it's like I knew I was there. I am more powerful than the black hole. This is Commander Santiago. If any of you retreat while the 
Sounds like he hasn't changed. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the For good reason. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes. Every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot, don't you call that a goddamn grudge? Seems like one to me. You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We'd better get moving. Garrus is just like sitting over there, just like chilling, not really paying attention to anything that's going on. Just kind of staring at the waterfall in his own little world. Squad Charlie, Delta, that's the gate house. Getting those resources. Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Got nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. Opening the gate. We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm gonna kill Vito. You're endangering lives and the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? Yes. I'm gonna knock you the hell out. But thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies, whatever the cost. I just love how punching him in the face is a paragon choice. Seriously, think, think about that. They made this character specifically for you to hate him. You know, if you ask me, it works. Especially, especially later on in the mission, where you really get the chance to piss him off royally. This is a fun little mission. I'm glad it was free. Help! We're trapped! We can't get to the gas valves to shut them off! The whole place is gonna blow! No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. 
simply stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. You know, the first time I played this mission as my vanguard, uh, I actually didn't save the workers. I actually went ahead and killed Vito. And I didn't really think anything of it. I just kind of did the mission, got my level up, and kind of didn't even, didn't even think about it again. But after playing this the second time right now, I am. If I were to go back into the vanguard, I would just. I would absolutely do everything in my power to screw over Zaid. Did I mention I don't like Zaid? So now we get this little uh now we get this little mission here where we have to run around this area. Sometimes do we fight dudes? I'm not sure. But we run on this area and shut off the valves. Which allows the workers to get out of their money. Who built that? Who builds a building, puts doors in, that won't open if there's a fire? They tr what sort of engineer engineered the building to trap you in if there was a fire? This is the future! Oh well, you know what, I'm not even gonna... It's DLC. You know, that's all I'm gonna put it, it's DLC. Now our water-powered doors will open. Yay. You know, my worst fear as a Let's Player is making too many jokes that aren't funny. This looks interesting. So I'll, t I'll, I'll slow down with some serious talk. We got a new heavy weapon. This is the new Firestorm. It's a heavy weapon that only is available in this DLC. Uh, it's basically a flamethrower. It's not as awesome as it sounds. I was actually really dis disappointed by this weapon. Do I trade it away? No, I don't think I do. Move it. Um. First person to bring me Masani's head to get something special in their paycheck. So here we just have a uh, never ending stream of enemies. This actually goes on for quite a while in this case, I believe. Um. Uh, Basically what's going to happen is like, after we kill a few of these guys, some fire tanks are going to conveyor belt their way uh, over the area, and, our, and my job is to shoot them. Lots. And of course, I'm ignoring the fact that I'm... I'm... I wasn't doing very well in this fight. I mean, of course I do adequate, but I'm not... You know, as a... As a, as a viewer you expect your let's player to be informed and whoa I don't remember that <laughs> that was funny uh, that prolonged joke see that's what I mean right there I gotta shoot that and I'm not shooting it me and my awareness skills uh, I guess that's what happens when you're trying to play and talk at the same time
It's at this point which I realize, oh really, I'm supposed to shoot these guys. And at this point, I was contemplating letting Zaid die. But I figured I wasn't going to survive without him, so I brought him back. Those are really whiny enemies. I'm trying to think, what other what other game was that, where the enemies were really really whiny? Did something? Just Cause Two? I knew that was a game where the enemies were really whiny, but uh, no no no, it's a newer game. I can't for the life of me think what it is. Oh my god. Uh. Was it Ascreed? Ascreed, bro. I'm trying to think here. Did I buy any games in February? I bought Kill, Kill Zone. I think. Kill Zone is some of the. No, I don't think. Oh my god. I don't know. And this is going nowhere, and I'm boring you all. Well, I got nothing better to say over this. Uh, I think actually that I'm gonna. This video ends kind of soon. I think I stop right in the middle of, com of combat. So, uh. Just gonna wait for uh, me to kill this enemy here. And I think this is about the part where I end it. I'm gonna take cover behind here. Pause it. I'm going to save this mech for next time. So, for next time, I'm Strongbull1, and this has been part 18. See ya.